And uh, this one that you have here is good for treatment of skin infection. If you're having pimples, eczema, if you're having typhoid, mm. malaria fever, mm. or pie. When I talk of pie, in the uh, African English, we call it chop yash, chop That thing that chops yash. Yeah. If you drink the cold water, you are actually treating yourself of different types of ailments. And then, as you can see, the cold water is good for treatment of sicknesses. Hmm. Why the warm water is good for treatment of the skin, which is diseases, are they? Yes. Warm water for treatment of diseases, cold water for treatment of sicknesses. Everyone, this is Dasha, the most handsome, yekable, Africanicious, adrenaline pumping husband. And as usual, I will always have beside me my most scintillating pepperoni sugarlicious shapey girl. Okay, on today's show, I'm Jaquette Oluwadi Setro, and we are always happy having you coming back every time to the Setro's Love family. Yeah, if you're there, part of this family, please, what are you waiting for? Subscribe and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified of our latest videos. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Please don't stop. A big thank you goes to all our patrons and supporters on this channel. And you can actually be part of a patron so as low as $3 a month. The patron link is in the description box below. And please do press on CC, meaning closed caption for subtitling. Do follow us on Instagram, Setters Lord, our Twitter handle is Setters Lord, on Facebook, or Setters Lord. And we have a backup channel, it's called Setters TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might see what's happening. Okay, today we're somewhere. Somewhere in the bush. Tell everybody. Soft one, sorry. Tell them. Let them know. Soft one means tell them. In Africa, when we say soft one, it means that we want to let a lot out of the bag. Get, get. Cut out of the whatever, fill in the gap. Today, I'm taking my wife, my sweet porero, my sugarlicious baby girl, into the world of the blues of the African region. And let me tell you, in case you are outside in the Western world, and you want to use a physical power style to take care of your beautiful babylicious. Do they know what is a physical power? <laughs> Sorry, a physical power is a process of what? Revitalizing your loved ones oh. with tantalizing uh -huh. experience. And bringing such persons to Africa where Mother Nature is kissing. Is kissing? Where Mother Nature is kissing the gods <laughs> of beauty. You can see all around us the beautiful, magnificent view that is sighted somewhere in the western part of, of Nigeria, Nigeria in Africa. Africa. Over to you. Uh, yeah, this is somewhere in Africa, a kitty state to be precise, Nigeria. And we're gonna be taking you around this state. You're gonna be seeing different places. Just sit down, go nowhere. Uh, so many of you are subscribers, you've been telling us you wanna see the views of where we are, of what we're doing, of people around us. Yeah. This is the time. So tell us more of the content you want us to create. But this one, I want to tell you, is wow, wow, delicious. Just have to watch, go nowhere. Wow, this is the warm spring. Oh, how I just wow. wish you can feel this. This is really cool. It's warm. Like, it's, it's warm and it's not, like the weather is cool, but the water is warm. Can you imagine? This is a mystery. You can't just diversify it. We have a tall guy. He's going to tell us about this uh, warm and cold water uh, spring. I tell you, this is just nature at the best of the spring. I'm a tall guy by profession. And um, I've been witnessing the flow of this 
warm and cold water since I was born. Since I was five years old. And uh, there is no point in the history of this place that the water gets dark. It's always cold. And um, the water is always sweet, this level. Whether it is dry season or rainy season, it doesn't increase in volume. The color never changes, the temperature never changes. And uh, this warm water you have here is good for treatment of skin infection. If you're having pimples, eczema, rashes, or all those stuff, yes, can, it's I, drinkable. can uh, I put it yes. outside or? Yeah. Well, I put it inside, it will flow. It will flow. Mm. So the water is uh, therapeutic in nature because it treats. Yeah. And uh, it's very, very good to taste. And uh, there is actually a table water, com uh, a bottle water company called Bossy Table Water. The water is, is, a, is a bottled with this warm water, naturally like that. Mm. They only do make it to go through the process of filtration. Mm -hmm. They only filter it to remove the, really the particles. When you drink this warm water, you are treating your skin from inside. And when you, when, when you, when you, when you bathe with the warm water, you are treating your skin from outside. And that is why we in the Congo Small Spring Resort Limited here, yeah, we decided to channel the warm water to the swimming pool. So the water in our swimming pool is warm water. And um, we believe that when you dip yourself into the warm water, it's like it's as if you are inside your piscine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you see what we are talking about? That's African oh, natural jacuzzi. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, as if yeah. you dip yourself into the warm water is the water we channel to the flower swimming pool so that uh, it can do the work of cleanser to the skin. And I I wanted to tell you that um, our body contains some sort of oils, tiny oils, the one you call force. You believe you are having a skin infection. Um, when you dip yourself into the swimming pool, your pores will open. It will enable the water to penetrate. The water will now be able to do the work of killing those bacteria or germs that causes skin infection. So, as you can see, the warm water is yeah, very, We are really blessed in Africa, as in just nature, Mother Nature has blessed us so much that we just. So, we don't need all those. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I don't understand. To to okay. uh, okay. What we need is okay. nature. So, the other side, we have uh, the cold water. Oops. It's always ice cold in it. Mm. When I say ice cold, cold, I mean it's mm. extremely cold. I'm trying to compare it to the color of the warm water. The warm water is very, very clean. In nature, it's very bright because it's colorless. And uh, the cold water is colorful. The cold water is colorful in nature because the cold water is very, very colorful in nature because the sources of the two springs that we have here are different. The source of the cold water is far away into the thick forest to my left hand side, about two miles to this splitting point. And um, we believe the change in color of the cold water is as a result of different types of herbs and roots that is already naturally decayed inside it. I mean, abar, abar items are already deposited inside the cold water. You know Which what? Means Sorry, madam. Whenever anything is mentioned about African about African medicine, I always enjoy it. So I'm going to take this water. I'm going to take it, it in here now because I believe in natural African about <laughs> treatment. Can you see the color? As in, this so, water has no taste. It's tasteless. Only that the taste is a little bit different from that of the yes. It's a little bit sour. And it's really even looking like something about uh, the like, like, a like a go, me a go. Yes, and that is what we call it in the Kogus. We call it a go, lo, me tutu. A go, cold water. Up. Can, can, can you so see? So, if you are having typhoid, malaria fever, mm. or pie, when I talk of pie in the uh, 
African English, we call it chop yarn, chop yarn. Jedi jet. Jedi jet. That thing that chops yarn. Yeah. If you drink the cold water, you are actually treating yourself of different types of ailments. And then, yeah, as you can see, the cold water is yeah, good for treatment of sicknesses, hmm. while the warm water is good for treatment of the skin, which is diseases, are they? Mm. Yes. Warm water for treatment of diseases, cold water for treatment of sicknesses. So that's something that is very good. In fact, no. Oh, we, we just we've just got to be grateful in Africa. And that's why some persons are just after Africa, they want to destabilize it because they see that all these things they've not gotten it where they are. God will not allow them alone in back one. So we have um, cold water flowing from this side, warm water from that side, then there is a little point. Can you see her face? She's been, she's saying that she's not been using anything. That I said, look at all. look That's at her age. She's right? shining, sparkling, black beauty. Uh, they are just using all these natural things, yeah. and they want us to be using. And you know the funny yeah. So when she finished yeah. taking all this beautiful water that cures diseases internally and externally, she will now settle down with pounded yam. Yeah. Yeah. Inyo long belekiti. You understand yeah. what they call inyo? It's with a foreign You understand? Yeah. And it will be correct. Hey, wrong, <laughs> and they now. Spicy, what we call Enogbe. You know what they call Enogbe? Oh, you are missing. Come to Africa. Enogbe is pushing meat from the gates. So you can even see as we're here, different people are coming in. They're coming for the medicinal nature of the water. Can you see people are taking the water home? It's highly medicinal. It doesn't have side effects. It's here in Africa. We have natural herbs, natural water without side effects. So you, you're not going to be scared. Look at grandpa's is, is concurrent to it. When I say there are no side effects to our natural herbs and water here in Africa and Nigeria, this is the Congo Safe. Yes. So that's it. So you just have to visit here. They have a resort. What's the name of your resort again, man? The Congo Safe Warm Spring Resort. You just got to visit this place. There is accommodation and every other thing. As I was saying, Cold water and warm water is having a meeting point, and uh, this is the meeting point. We talk about the color differences. The one by the left hand side is the cold water, the colorful herbal medicine cold water, and the one by this side is a colorless warm spring water. And that's their meeting point. At the meeting point, they are meeting, they are not mixing. Hmm. Wow, 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 wow. Do you hear that? They are they, mixing, they, but they are not mixing. They, they are, are still, mixing. They are they are still uh, retaining their uniqueness. Do you understand? So they are in different. The front, in the front, yeah. you still have cold water. Like the left hand side, you still have warm water on the right. And then, uh, which means they are flowing side by side, on and on the field. So that if we have many people that want to fetch the water, they decide to start anywhere, fetch your food, fetch your room. Now, welcome to public school. Oh, oh, it's a pleasure. Oh. And um, that is what we do today. We, uh, we purposely directed this for the purpose of right, describing meeting points, cold and warm. Apart from the two water, I always call them waters because they are two types of water. One is colorless, the other one is colorless. One is cold, the other one is warm. warm. And then, um, apart from the two waters, we also have these two things that is sharing almost the same. There's a kind of color tree, correct and all. Having its roots directly attached, attached to, to the roots of a maogani. Wow. A maogani. A maogani is a the type of tree we use for furniture. So there are two species of trees. Even though there are also trees, trees are trees. But there are species of trees. Yeah. This is for concrete oil and for red from oil. And this is uh, for furniture. Their are roots are clustered together. And nobody planted them in there. They grew up together naturally like this. And um, uh, for people that study biology, we believe they are exchanging benefits. They are talking benefits, which is mutual relationship. Yes. 
which means there is something called symbiotic relationship mm. happening between them. Mm. Then when you take cryptical mm. look at it, you study their, their physical features. Yeah. We notice that the pancreas thing is more or less sharing color with the underneath of the cold water. Mm. 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 Yeah. You need some. You know the, the background of cold water is somehow yellowish or brownish or pale, yeah, yeah. just like the color of this, this and panel too. And uh, when I take a critical look at the body of the man mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I notice that it is having many colors, like lemon, like green, like mm -hmm. brown, like something that is shiny like silver. Yeah. I now compare it with pebbles mm. of the warm mm. water. Mm. What a mystery. Mm. What a mystery. And then the body, the body of the mahogany is shining. It's shining. It's glittering like the warm water and mm. mm. So for us in the Congo Sigan Spring, we believe that this um canal tree is benefiting from the cold water. Why the, uh, the mahogany is benefiting from the warm water? Because we try to trace the roots of the mahogany. We notice that it's later touched, it has a tip touching the flow of the warm water somewhere there. And uh, when they trace this on the, the roots of uh, the many roots of the pampanic tree, they notice that part of it is inside the cold water. So we now believe that. They are not only benefiting from each other as different things, they are also benefiting from the two water that also cluster together. So this is for one uh, cold water, the other one is for warm water. water. Then when we take it widely to so the world we are living in, we believe that the, uh, the Africans, the majority of us are having this dark skin. So we can say this is the dark continent. Oh. Black continent, not black. The black continent. Then we believe the Malgani with many colors is representing the Europeans. The Westerners. The Westerners. We now believe that for them to have clustered together, if we have the African and the whites who are already having the same roots, which is Almighty God, mm -hmm. they can cluster together like this. Don't you think you have the peace? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Great. Exactly. Great. So you yeah, are welcome to Africa. Yeah. And with that, it's based on what we have been talking about in, on our channel that relationship between the Western world and the African world should not be that of parasitic. You can see these two, they are not parasitic in nature. This is not killing this to survive. This is not yeah. killing this to survive. But they are existing together and they are having the fresh air of beauty. That is what Africa and the rest of the world need. We and need to work, respect each other. And if we look at the colors of the two, I can also relate this to the Western world. Mm -hmm. And that's the We are flowing side by side. We are actually not affecting each other. Mm -hmm. So this is for the white, that is for the black. Mm -hmm. Side by side. You see? And that is the two groups of people that got picked. This is for the, for the, white. For the Africans. No. These were the whites. For the, the whites. For the white. This is for the whites. And that's for the black. The black we always come with natural herb. Yes. Mm -hmm. We don't take uh, all this synthetic Chicken. rubber and the, whatever they want to give us. So the high time we understand what we have, the best for us Africans to really exist in the world with positive effects. Yes. Yeah. And then in the Congo's one spring, yeah, we notice that we have four types of water that met at the meeting point. And then, um, what I'm trying to say is that the cold water happens to be two types of cold water. One is actual, actually colder than the other. One is brighter than the other. The mixture of the two types of cold water is this, and we have a little bit of cold and warm. And then uh, we, we also realize that the warm water is having another warm water that is not as warm as the original warm or as the real warm water joining it we call that point the meeting point of warm and warm somewhere up there 
So this is addition of two types of warm water, addition of two types of cold water, which means we are having four different types of springs that melt at the point where we call the little project warm and cold springs. And uh, that has to do with a story which we are going to tell you later. Okay. 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 You are welcome. Yes. So that's the power that sees the right, right hand side. This is one motor by my left hand side. Okay. Flowing to the meeting point of cold wow. and warm. By this corner here. Okay, it's the meeting we point. Are having two types of uh, cold water. Mm. This one with very clean background is normal cold water. And the other one with uh, the darker background is extremely cold water. Wow. This side is normal, the clean one is normal. The other <laughs> one is, this is a nice extremely stuff. cold. And you know, cold, cold is cold. Yeah. <laughs> but in this place, we notice that coldness also has levels. Yeah. Different levels of coldness. That one is naturally. It's normally cold. It's this one is so extremely cold. cold. Extremely wow. cold. Addition of the two is the one we have at the meeting mm. point of cold and warm springs. And that is the signpost for it. We said it is the it. meeting point of cold and cold springs. To treat our malaria, typhoid, uh, malaria in my town here, we always go for the colder spring. The colder spring. Mm. Which is colorful in nature as a result of our bar deposits mm. to treat malaria. I want to drink enough because of malaria. Because of malaria, I've been beaten by mosquitoes. <laughs> this is beautiful. We are going towards the source or the sources of uh, warm water. The water we have here is addition of warm and warmer water, and then when we touch. Day is not as warm as this because are, as we go towards the source, the water becomes warmer, which means the higher the pool, the warmer it becomes. So we can also touch the water. Even placing my leg here, I'm feeling the heat more than what we observe yeah, there. Yes, this one is hotter. Warm, 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 warm. warm. I don't know the English word for this place. Say the Yoruba man. We in a state here. We call it Borogun Etiodo. Ah. Mm. Oh yeah. The, the English, is, the English of that is Borogun Etiodo. Borogun Etiodo. It's Borogun or Borogun Etiodo. We have uh, many of these Borogun uh, trees here. This is one. That's another one there. There is even one in the front of this one. Then you have this one that looks as if. It's going mm -hmm. to fall tomorrow. Mm -hmm. This one that, is, that looks so fragile has been okay, there. Okay. I've known this one for more than 30 years now. Okay. And it's not falling. Tree that is, the tree that is here is called Korogun tree. We have many of this type of Korogun tree. In, uh, in reality, only would you see a Korogun tree as big as this. In uh, Yoruba <laughs> land, we call it ban Bandri tree. It's the type of tree they always use as Bandri between two farms or between two villages in those days. Then the purpose of this Borobu is having here is can be traced back to the years when they usually make uh, they usually make sacrifices to the water god or to the god of warm water. And that was so so many years ago during the days of our forefathers. In between this Borobu they would prepare something like a sacrifice with a cup that is very very whitish without any blemish not even under the armpit there was no no um blemish then they will make it into chicken they will cut it into pieces as if they want to boil it they will pour it into a clay pot they place it right where they have the the, the, the uh, where the, 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 the little the, the center of the three table is they now begin to say some sort of, I mean the priest, they begin to say some sort of incantation into the sacrifice. 
without blazing fire under it, it will begin to burn. It will get ready to, uh, uh, to it will be well cooked. Then they begin to eat it. After eating it, they go to the meeting points to go and meet people that come to give testimonies to the goodness of the water god. That the water god has been able to do this and that for them. Then they begin to bless them with their. Um, after the colonial, after uh, independence, the Kitty State was under the Western region. The white man from America, who was called Reverend Johnson McGee, through First Baptist Church, was able to locate this place to First Baptist Church in Igedi. When he came here, he became interested. He preached the gospel. Of the Lord Jesus Christ to my people in the town. And uh, it made us to understand that we should not be worshipping the water god or water goddess. Instead, we should be worshipping the Almighty God who created the warm water and the cold water. So since then, they have stopped worshipping or paying some sort of uh, homages to the water god or water goddess. So they did not call that the Purogo tree. The Korogu tree is more or less the symbol of the outdoor worship of those days. They did not cut it down, so it continued to go, getting fat and fatter every day. We are at the meeting point of one and one water. What I mean is that this side is very warm, while that side is really warm. Yeah. So the water that we have here is not very This one is very warm. Very warm. So, one more water from this side. And you see the steam? One more water from this side. One more water from that side. And this is here the amity. This is the amity of both. This is the amity of both of one and one more. So, mixture of the warm water and the warm water is one for warm water.
seven sources of the warmer water. At the back of the wall, there is no water. Everything is thick forest and rocks to the next town. And that is why we said we do not And um, to everything of this nature, there is always a story that I'm going to be very brief about the story. There are pictures of the world to illustrate this story. This man was called our parent. My people believe that it was this man who possesses some sort of power that can make him to invoke warm water from the rock, which he normally used to treat his patients when he was alive. We believe he was the one that came back to the top of this rock when he couldn't die with natural death. He said some sort of invitation to the rock. The rock parted for him to enter. He entered into the rock. The rock closed after him. He couldn't come at him then. His two wives, who later turned to colder water and cold water, out of their confusion, they started seeing their own incantation that can make the rock to be open. As they took different steps at the top of the rock again, each of the steps they took, the warm water started flowing out again, continuously. The water did not stop flowing. And they keep on shouting the name of their husband. Our parent, the more they call his name, the more the warm water flows out of the rock. Which means it was the man that was born himself to the warmer, to the warmer water. The two wives put us together. They were not going to allow the man to go alone into the journey of turning to water. Because the man usually tell him that, tell them that anytime you want to die. Turn to that same warm water so that he will present himself as uh, something that is effective for treatment of uh, different types of ailments and for solving people's uh, problems. 
So the wife saw the say, wherever I go, they will go with him. So the day he turned himself to water, to warm my water, they decided to also turn to cold mm. and colder water. According to their temperament and according to their, their, their complexion, the senior wife is represented by this picture of a woman with spots on her head. She was fat, she was dark in complexion, she was an extremely gentle woman. Her name was Awele Aoriki. Her place name was called Otutu Biosu. She was an extremely gentle woman. And the second picture we have here with the woman holding the type of pot we saw down there. Her name was I know Rosu. I know Rosu was very, very fair in complexion. She was uh, neither gentle nor hot temper. She was hot temper and gentle, which means she had an average character. And when it was extremely gentle, I know Rosu was an average person in character. The two of them put us together. They were going to join the man to also turn to water, according to their character and according to their color. So, Awele decided to go to the thick forest to the right. She transformed herself to ice cold water that is colored or colorful in nature. The one I showed you the other time, at the meeting about of cold and cold. I know also transformed herself to normal cold water with very clean background because she was fair in complexion. They both met at a point which we call the meeting point of cold and cold. Addition of water from the two of them is the cold water. The senior wife, who was called Awele, was the one that gave birth to the first son, who later became the first king of our town, the Kogusi. He named the town the Kogusi, which means the town at the extreme left of Yogbala. During their own generation. Um, he also possesses part of the power of his father, the power to invoke water from the rock to treat people. When he became old and advanced in age, he also couldn't die the natural death. Now, for him to also to go to the rock, which is very close to the sources of the warmer water, he sat on the rock and also transformed himself. In the warm water. That is why we have two types of warm water. Water from the father, which is very warm. Water from the sun, which is mild warm. The one we call meeting point of warm and warm. Then the cold water is also two. Water from the senior wife, which is extremely cold and colorful. Water from the junior wife, which is normal cold, coldness and colorless. They also met at the point before meeting point of cold and cold, which means we have four types of uh, spirits within our premises here. So the meeting point of the four of them is the meeting point of the cold and warm water, which is the overall meeting point. And uh, according to the story, we believe that for all of them to have turned to, to different types of water according to their behaviors and character, we believe that what they are doing at the meeting point is exchanging pleasantries. They are embracing one another. Just like people will say, just like if you have not seen it for long, you like to cuddle with me. You say long term, no see. A complimentary, they will not push me to the phone because they will not mix. After cuddling, after embracing one another, they still flow separately as two wives and two men. You are welcome to come to me. And the two trees that grew up very close to the meeting point of cold and warm water are more or less the symbol of the unity and love that is existing within that family. You are welcome once more. My name is Ade Yeri. Let's go. I'm an individual person. Hello, Africa. Hello, everyone. This really is Africa. And you will see that from... <laughs> we don't need to talk too much. You can see Madam here. She has really broken it down. Based on what we have shown you so far, so you can now see why I happen to be the best romantic African product of the year. Take your wife out, take your spouse out, take your loved ones out, 
in Africa, you will experience what we call <laughs> Mescolodium pelusa. Remember the joy therapy, that's what we advocate for on this channel. Whatever they're monging around on the mainstream media, on the social media platform, remember that all they want to kill is your joy. And once your immune system is destabilized, you can do nothing in life. So whatever the challenge, you, you heard me during my la uh, our last live stream, uh, I have to come for my mom's burial and despite that, I just took Captain having the joy. Our joy comes from above. So whatever challenge you're going to find a place to get to the source of your joy. And I want to tell you, you're not going to regret it because joy is highly medicine. By the time we're coming with our next video, we want to see you safe and sound. Make sure you are really, really sound and happy and okay. We remain the Cetros. In case you don't subscribe, what are you doing? Stop shivering. Press the subscribe button, subscribe and press the notification bell. So, and always remember the hug therapy. Hug your wife 16 days in a week. <laughs> it's because what we call high blood parochia venture. <laughs> so that's just it. That's what the light I would. And you may like to watch this video or this. And please let's have your opinion on all that you've seen so far. Do you want to be part of the people the tourists that will come here do you want to, what do you want so let's just have you comment in the comment section below catch you love you bye bye you may like to watch this video or this <music>